Welcome to this edition of our March Town Hall. And uh, I am uh, Dr. Matt Rhoda, Superintendent of Community Schools of Frankfurt. Today, my guest on the show is Mrs. Maggie McKinney. Maggie McKinney is the principal at Blue Ridge Primary. And uh, it, it'll be great to be able to find out a little bit about Mrs. McKinney and the great things happening at Blue Ridge today. So Mrs. McKinney, welcome to the show. All right, well, thank you very much for having me, Dr. Rhoda. What, I, what we'd like to know and our audience would like to know is how long have you been the principal at Blue Ridge Primary? This is my third year as principal at Blue Ridge Primary. However, I was assistant principal for two years prior to that. Okay. All right. So you've been there, been there for a few years. Yep. Then. Been there okay. for a few years. Great. Why don't you tell our, our audience uh, something about you that people may not know about you? Okay. Um, well, I'm actually very happy to share this one. So okay. something that people may not know is that I have Frankfurt in my blood. Okay. So my maternal grandmother uh -huh. is a 1947 graduate of wow. Frankfurt High School. Okay. So back when uh, high school was held at Old Stony. Okay. And uh, my family actually has one of the bricks from the middle school that was across the way there right. um, yes. before they had that torn down. Okay. So. Currently the sheriff's yeah. office now, yeah. right? Okay. Yeah, before they moved locations. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, you could have done your own uh, history fun facts today. <laughs> I could have. I right. could have. I'm not going to take that from Mr. Farley. Though. All right. Well, great. Well, speaking of that, we're going to take a quick commercial break. And when we come back, we'll talk to Mrs. McKinney a little bit more. But right now, I'd like Eric Farley to give you this month's Farley's Frankfurt Fun Facts. Welcome back to Farley's Fun Facts. Hot dogs, it's March, and March in Indiana means one thing, basketball. As teams across Indiana continue with their goals of winning a state championship, I wanted to share with you some of our basketball highlights. Frankfurt has won 48 sectional titles, 46 of which took place before class basketball. The dogs have won 20 regional championships, all before class basketball, and have also won five semi-state championships and four state titles. One interesting fact is what took place after our state championship in 1939. Hoosier basketball fans submitted their votes to select the first Indiana High School All-Star team. However, players from one team were not allowed to be selected. That team was Frankfurt, because our team, being the state champions, played the All-Star team in August of that year. The game was played at Butler Fieldhouse. However, the dogs were severely shorthanded on players due to the IHSA rule that underclassmen were not allowed to participate. Therefore, only seniors could play in that game. However, the dogs played one junior who was 20 years of age and therefore would be ineligible for his senior season. Regardless, because he played, the dogs were put on probation the following year. Who won the game? Despite being shorthanded and playing against the best of the best in Indiana, the final score was 31 to 21 in favor of the Indiana All-Stars. Due to the IHSA rules that prevented fair play, this sparked the idea of the first annual Indiana-Kentucky All-Star Game, played in 1940. That's it for Farley's Fun Facts. Until next time, hot dogs. Welcome back to the March Town Hall with Mrs. Maggie McKinney from Blue Ridge Primary. Mrs. McKinney, could you share with our viewers the pillars that you have in place that you're focusing on this year at Blue Ridge Primary in literacy community and post-secondary expectations. Yeah, um, actually uh, we're blessed at Blue Ridge with an absolutely phenomenal staff and when the pillars of excellence were created we wholeheartedly embraced them and we just went for it. So first with our post-secondary um, pillar of excellence we've worked hard to introduce students to a wide variety of careers because being a pre-k through two building it is a little bit challenging but we want them to realize that they have the whole wide world in front of them and they can do anything giving them some hands-on experiences uh, last year we pulled a variety of community members to come in and speak about their various careers and the students really loved that Pete, our audience is probably thinking now, how is a kindergarten, a pre-K through second grade building going to 
kind of hit that post-secondary, and you guys have done just an outstanding job of bringing community members. I know yeah. you posted on social media. Yeah. Of, we've seen the flowers. We've seen the roofing. We've seen the uh, police there. Yeah. So it's great to, that you're exposing kids, even at your level, to post-secondary careers. So yes. gr great to hear that. Anything else with that? Um, as far as, well, moving into the community uh, pillar of excellence this year, mm -hmm. we held our first annual uh, fall community oh, carnival yes. mm -hmm. and that was a big hit as far as on the campus for Blue Ridge and Green Meadows um, It was great to get everyone together. The carnival was free. We had a lot of um, wonderful donations from the community and teachers working hard to build that so that was a great way to go and then also just knowing that we value our teachers because they're part of our community too and who mm -hmm. pour into our children right. and uh, I Double checked the math here, but as far as Blue Ridge is concerned, we have 614 years of experience in education with wow. our staff. Okay, all right, that's great to hear. Because one of our, our pillar of community is not only um, attracting and retaining students, but it's attracting and retaining our instructional staff. Yep. And so it's great to be able to accumulate that much institutional knowledge yeah. there with the community. How, how many people came out to that event? Do you know off the top of your head that came out? Oh that, gosh, of people I was gonna to that, say, we had um, thousands of people easily. Um, okay. It was great as far as the Frankfurt Fire Department. Um, we got to be able to go up in their giant lift and mm -hmm. had some pictures from there. Um, Mr. Dan Miller did a great job of putting together a, a video piece okay. with some photographs from Mr. Ramos as well. Okay. Um, just kind of that eclectic blend. What about post? Uh, what about your pillar of literacy? Ah, I love the pillar of literacy. Uh, save that one for last. Um, I really feel like that's where our students and our staff have um, had their hard work shine mm -hmm. since we've established the pillars. And some noteworthy data as far as uh, we're concerned. Right now, at the middle of the year benchmarking that we did in December, 67% of our second grade students are reading at or above where they should be at the end of the school year. Okay. Um, we have for our first grade students, our NWEA growth percentage was 10% higher than last year at the middle of the wow. year. Okay. So we're moving in the right direction. 67% yes. mm -hmm. um, of our kindergarten students met their middle of the year growth score as far as reading is concerned. And then uh, something that we posted recently about, we are now a level three paths to quality for our community preschool and wow. we're very excited to have attained yeah. that. And, and level three is where you wanna be as a preschool. Yeah. There's, a, there's a level four, but the level three is the gold standard, isn't it, yep, you wanna exactly. get to? Okay. It's That's showing that we have what we need as far as our curriculum and a solid, safe environment for our students. So, And, and Ms. McKinney, you threw out some percentages, and I think it's important for audience to know that we've, we've had past years here where we've had less than 50% of our kids at grade level and reading across, across grade yeah. levels. And so you're telling the audience that today uh, at the middle of the year, not even the end of the year, you've got almost 70% of your kids at grade yes. level in second grade yes. as, as they get ready to head into the third grade level and you're and yeah. you're growing kids so that's just phenomenal for both your your staff and your kids of being able to just really drive your achievement up that much within yeah. a two-year period so congratulations yeah. to your Thank school you and your much. kids for your hard work they are working yes. hard we appreciate them could you share with our viewers anything that they need to know that's kind of coming up at Blue Ridge Primary? Yeah, um, we have a lot of different things coming up. We all know that spring is pretty busy as far as schools are concerned. Um, we are actually going to be kickstarting the month of March, which hits this Friday, okay. um, with an end of year uh, WIDA celebration for having done our WIDA testing with our multilingual students. And we're inviting them and their families to um, watch the movie Coco okay. with us at Blue Ridge and Green Meadows. So that is uh, this Friday. And then new this year, we opted in to giving iRead and so our second grade students are going to be taking the practice test on Friday and then we're testing next week, um, March 4th through, I believe, the 7th. Okay, right. Um, and doing that, so there will be information coming out to parents regarding that. Um, we also, importantly, we want to keep kids coming to Blue Ridge and Community Schools of Frankfurt, so right. we have 
our kindergarten roundup and our preschool um, registration okay. on Wednesday, March 20th from okay. 4 to 7 p.m. Okay. Um, we ask that if it's going to be an incoming kindergarten student, that parents bring those ch their child with them. Oh, great. That way we can assess them and then for a pre-K, um, just need to come and be able to fill out the paperwork there. So, Do parents need to bring anything with them for their incoming kids? What kind of documentation do they need when yeah. they come? So they need to bring a copy of their child's birth certificate, mm -hmm. um, any immunization records that they have, and then a proof of residency, which is okay. usually a utility bill that's kind of tied to the house. Well, you've got some amazing things going on at Blue Ridge, both that you've already done and what you're getting ready to do. So mm -hmm. congratulations. Thank you for coming to Town Hall today. Something you said as you were speaking, this is the February edition of Town Hall and not the March edition. That'll that'll be coming next. We've got, uh, it's leap year, so February 29th mm -hmm. this, this month of February. So thank you for coming on to the uh, February mm -hmm. uh, Town Hall meeting. Yeah. And thank you audience for viewing us. I, I uh, hope you uh, had a great time listening to Mrs. Maggie McKinney share the great things happening at Blue Ridge and great things are happening at Blue Ridge Primary. And uh, we wish uh, Mrs. McKinney and her staff and kids the best of luck finishing up the school year. Uh, next month, I'm excited to have Mrs. Cindy Long. As the community knows, Mrs. Cindy Long will be uh, moving on to a uh, position with Indiana Association of School Principals next school year and I'm going to have her on next month here in March to be able to share the, the 23 years she's been here just some highlights of the time she's been here then I'm going to also have on Miss um, Libby Pierce one of our Frankfurt High School students she was a finalist for the Lilly Scholarship and uh, she just has a lot of great things to share about not only being a finalist but just uh, her perseverance in her time here at Frankfurt High School. So looking forward to having both of them come on, come on in the uh, March rendition of Town Hall. So uh, thank you for joining us today. And uh, next up, we have Roaming with Rhoda, the big broadcast edition. Have a great day. Hey, we are at Big Broadcast, and we're going to hear from some of our performers on this edition of Roaming for, with Rhoda. We also want to hear from audience members to see favorite acts. We've got one of our performers right here. What is your name? Draven Sheets. And Draven, uh, what act did you do tonight? I was first in the band, and then I did my own little dance. And you were awesome, too, so thank you for sharing tonight. It was a pleasure. All right. Great. Thank you. What is your name? Chasta Stefanatis. Nice to meet you. And what is your name? Emma Bunting. And for both of you tonight, what was your favorite part of Big Broadcast? Uh, Tessa Stefanatis. Right. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Yours? Tessa. See, see, you would agree. She did, a, she did a great job. So you should, should be very proud. I am extremely proud. All right. Thank you. Judy, what was your favorite part of Big Broadcast tonight? Oh, I think that all the kids did good. But my favorite was Tessa Stefanatis. She's right. my granddaughter. Oh, she's your granddaughter. Okay. All right. She did a great job. Yes, she did. Thank, Thank you. you. You are on Roaming with Rhoda, big broadcast edition. And uh, what is your name? Layla. Layla. Aaron. Aaron. Given. And what was your favorite part of big broadcast tonight? Enter Sandman. Enter Sandman. That was pretty, that was pretty awesome. Chris. Chris. And what was your favorite part? Chris Rascone. Chris Rascone, Enter Sandman, a little throwback. Angel Madera, Angel Madera's lead singer for Los Bravos had a great performance tonight. Thank you. Can you tell us what you sang tonight? Uh, it's a little, it's a heartbreak song, but I mean, people people liked it. I got good reviews, you know. You want to give us a little one-liner from it? Pero recuerda, nadie es perfecto y tú lo verás. Thank you very much. You did a great job. Uh, my name is Tessa Stepanatis. I'm a senior here, and I was singing Black Sheep from Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. And you did a great job, and your mom and grandma have already said yes. that you were the best act. Yes, that's what they, they were telling me. They are like, we already got in front of the camera. And I was like, awesome. You did a great job. Thank you. And Lee, you were on Roaming with Rhoda, big broadcast edition. What was your favorite part tonight? Man, my favorite part, i got to say Chris Roscone. Chris Roscone's part, last, last, uh, last little set, he did it. He did it. Hey. Best for less. That's that's all they say. And that was the best. And, that was the best and, and what was he singing tonight? 
Man, I, um, I, enter Sandman. Enter Sandman. That's exactly right. It was great. I got my blood pumping, man. I got right. my blood pumping. That was the. And best. who is this little lady right here? What was your favorite? What is your name? Camilla. And what was your favorite part tonight? Mm. Did you have a favorite? <laughs> hey, thanks for coming. All of them. The, your favorite was all of them. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. You are on Roaming with Rhoda, Mr. Percussionist. What is your name? Jesus. Jesus, what was your favorite part of the big broadcast tonight? Uh, me actually acting like Mr. Loopy, you know? Mr. Loopy, that was a great skit, yeah. too. I loved it. Yeah. Also, the band, you know. And the band, yeah. that's right. Yep. Four years. So. Yep. Thank you, Jesus. You did a great job. Yep. Luis, uh, what was your favorite part of big broadcast tonight? Well, my favorite part was uh, Anthony Figueroa's solo because I also play alto sax, and it's barely my freshman year, so I'm still learning a couple of things from him, And but he inspires me a lot. Are we going to see you on it with a performance and big broadcast in the future? Um, we'll see. I mean, check us out. You know. And Marisol, what was your favorite part of big broadcast tonight? I think it would be uh, dancing with my friends. I'm in the Sapphire dance team, so yeah, it was really nice. Iris and Iris, what was your favorite part of Big Broadcast tonight? Oh, my sibling parts. Um, the Sapphire team did an amazing job. The band, uh, amazing, love them. They were they were great. It was great before. They were yeah, great. they were great. Thank you for sharing. Appreciate you. And Eli, what was your favorite part of Big Broadcast tonight? My favorite part had to be a, a, a good finale to one of the skits that I started uh, all the way at the beginning uh, of my time in Big Broadcast, uh, the banana skit. I, I love that. You love the banana skit? And, and what was that, the, the pit bull? What was that one? Uh, I, I, I took on uh, my interpretation of a guy who I've been told I look like a few times, okay. and, and I, 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 thought, I thought I'd boogie down. And, I, and you know, I just I thought I'd get in character with Pitbull because he's both both Pitbull and a human so you know you were you were great thank you Eli thank you as always and Paige what was your favorite part of big broadcast um I would have to say either ban the banana skit or the hot dog skit were you, were you afraid that young man got hurt tonight when he slipped no <laughs> I I help out a lot backstage so I, I know it's scripted but it was pretty funny it was great it was great thank you for coming on Thank you for having me. Yes. And Taylor, can you tell the audience uh, um, what performances you were part of tonight? Uh, I was a part of the Sorry by Halsey duet and Tag Your It by Melanie Martinez dance. And you were amazing. Thank you for sharing tonight. You're welcome. Yes. Taylor Taylor was the best. She yeah. slayed that. I love her. I love right. you, Taylor. That's awesome. I would say, like, a fortissimo class, we were so great. We all did good. Okay. They it, popped was, it was all great, wasn't it? We've got our very own Kenny G here, right? Do you also play the soprano sax, too? Okay. All right. So why don't you tell the audience, you're on Big Broadcast uh, with uh, Roaming with Rhoda, Big Broadcast. What is your name? Anthony Figueroa. And Anthony, tell us uh, what performances you performed tonight. I played at the with the band with, I don't even know what it's called. <laughs> right. And I did my solo Fantasia for alto saxophone. And I'm going to stay for it. I'm, I'm going to be at this uh, Saturday at 3 o'clock. I'll be at State. Uh, hopefully I get a gold. So, <laughs> well, as they say in show business, you break a leg this Saturday. And if you play anything like you did tonight, uh, you're gonna you're gonna get a gold. So way to go! You were amazing. <laughs> thank you, thank you. All right, thank you, Anthony. Appreciate it. Come on, come on over. You were on Roaming with Rhoda, Big Broadcast Edition, and and I just love your perform. I'm an I'm an '80s '90s guy. I like uh, some of that uh, heavy metal. I love that. Can you tell me your name? Uh, Devin Black. And Devin, what did you perform tonight? I uh, performed uh, Metallica's uh, Enter Sandman. And you guys rocked it. You were amazing. Uh, thank you. Uh, it just it took a little bit of practice. That's about it. Uh, it's really not too bad. Well, you were, you were amazing, so thank you for performing tonight. Thank you. Okay. Yep. Rylan, and what was your favorite part of Big Broadcast tonight? The banana slipping. The banana slipping. You're like, you're, there, there are other people who love that, too. Were there any other uh, parts tonight that you love? What, what are some other parts that you like? All the singing. All the singing. Thank you very much, Rylan. This young lady right here needs uh, no introduction, but I will have her introduce herself. Uh, who am I speaking to here tonight? Okay, I'm Mayor Sheets. And Mayor Sheets, you're on Roaming with Rhoda. What was your favorite part of Big Broadcast? 
Oh, I don't know. I love the walk-ons. I thought they were so cute. They did, and the singing was beautiful. A lot of good people out there singing. So it was a fantastic show. I loved it. It it was amazing. It was great to watch tonight. Your granddaughter did a great job, and Mayor Sheets, she's everywhere. So that's what's so great about our mayor. So thank you for being here. Uh -huh. Thank you, and thank you for interviewing me. You're welcome. All right. Thank you.